Hello everyone, this is Grayshaw, and so I bring another CH2 a replay. This one is a 3v3 with Stelezo, one waifu, born again, French guards, Lipton, and Snipey. And we'll double check their uh, playtime right here, not necessarily their ranks, because once again, this rank doesn't matter. You can literally leave the game on public or play campaign the entire time to get that rank. Overall, looked about even. Uh, 3v3 on steps, so expect wide open terrain with large battles that are scattered across this map. Because again, it's so large, it's hard to keep, um, a th in, especially in a 3v3, it's going to be hard to keep like a major defense. So though one waifu is like, I'm going to go fortifications. Stiloso is like, I'm going to pick a doctrine that's worthless. And Born Again hasn't picked anything yet. But in any case, make sure you submit your replays either my Gmail or I, I, I check CH2.org now and again, so you can double check, go there as well. Either way, I'll take a look. Thank you everyone who's been saying in replays, by the way. That being said, a again, I, I I geek out over sometimes when I get replays, and I got a replay from French Guards. Don't know who French Guards is? That's Call of Duty Man. So, when Call of Duty Man, aka the guy who got me into Company of Heroes 2 and literally was like, hey, what was you know, uh, has, with his person personality and, uh, like, casting, got me into ca doing a cast way back in 2014. It sends me a replay? By God, I'm gonna do it. So, sorry, guys. Uh, I have plenty of replays I'll be doing for fans, but, you know, for the, for the 4K one, definitely want to highlight his. Especially when he's like, hey, you definitely want to check this out. So I want to see what he does. Or how he fails. Either way. Look, he may be a big fan, but uh, apparently he's, uh, you know, losing his edge. He lives in a, uh, again, he retired from CH2 to go, you know, do his dream and reside in a hobo box. So, I wish him luck on his venture and his life on the road. But in any case, let's get to it. We have double stern pioneers, I guess, trying, yep, nope, just saying fuck it, run up to the rifleman. And if it was one, rifleman probably would have lived. Unfortunately, because it's two... It's not going to work. Someone literally in the comments was like, Grey shot. Stern Pioneers are close range, and uh, that's the thing you want to do. It's like, okay. Yeah, sure. When he's doubling up, that's fine. But if he had double the firepower, the Rifleman would have owned him before even before you know he got close and just would destroy that squad. So, yeah, range does matter. It's it's a factor that you have to you know play into. Like, him firing outside of heavy cover, not a great idea. You need heavy cover. But, it's something he chose to do, and most likely he's going to be paying for it. Anyway, uh, with all the German troops kind of moving in, this British infantry is going to be pushed back. Oh my god, he got it. French guards got annihilated. Not a pro player move. Not a pro player move, man. In any case, troops still holding the line. Uh, trying to give out uh, as much damage as possible for re retreating, I guess. But, with the Stern Pioneers getting close and the Volk squads coming on in, yeah, this British infantry is probably going to be annihilated. So, yeah, he needs to pull back now. Kubel moving on in, helping capture territory. I think the... Oh, no, we have self vickers, but I would retreat that because... Flanking maneuver! Very good job, Kubel. Get around. Look, your choice in doctrine is pretty terrible, but at least that was a decent flank with the Kubel. And with the vickers unable to hit all directions, he decides, I'm going to run. And that's a good idea. The island is now officially in German hands. We actually have a flank all the way up here by this uh, Pioneer Squad, while additional forces are guarding both mid and, well, I was going to say taking the north, but they guess they kind of fell back. So the north is now under uh, Snappy's hands. Good job, Snappy. Hmm. Good job. He held it up. I love how he took the British guy's trench. It's like, hey, we're just going to live here now. And, you know, it's fun. Snappy, by the way, went guard mortar coordination tactics uh, with... Uh, Let's see, mortar squad, guard rifle, you know, pretty good. Heavy infantry with the T-3045. French guards with special weapons, pretty good. Um, overall, this is a nice set of abilities. Not necessarily go together, per se, but they're really good. You get tank hunters, you get resupply, drops down more guns. Uh, again, uh, if you try to hold the line, the big attack happens, you get air support, artillery support, and then, of course, the crocodile, which uh, will burn you alive, almost guaranteed. Well, anyway, uh, because Snappy has really nothing stopping him, he's just swarming on in. Though, to point out, oh man, this British, uh, not British, Soviet sniper's really trying to kill that squad. Will he be able to? Oh, gets a shot in the back. That was a great hit, Snappy. That was a great hit. That killed the full squad. So, 
Kubel's unhappy, though, going after the kill. Meanwhile, the British are coming back, and they got double MGs and double infantry, so we'll see if they can push. Meanwhile, we got... Oh, my God, yes. Kill that sucker. Woo-wee. He's like, I'll deploy Jager Light Infantry. And the penal's like, okay, fuck that. You're overpowered right now, so much so there's memes on CH2.org. Uh, so, yeah, no, no. Yeah, apparently that's a thing. I've been checking all the forms. Literally, there's a picture of Trump that has a picture of, like, something he signed. And it's literally a picture of Jager Light Infantry with them being overpowered. Now, the reason why they're overpowered is typically these guys are supposed to be uh, glass cannons. You know, uh, have a high damage output, but because of their, you know, de deployment and everything, kind of weak, relatively speaking, and easily killed. But because they can rank up, because their G4 three rifles are so cheap, and because their defense is actually not too shabby, they're putting out enough output with their attack that the, the they really don't have, let's say, a direct weakness, where a lot of people are kind of complaining about it. Hopefully, I'm kind of encompassing that key issue. But essentially, they're way overperforming for what they cost and what what you can give them. So that's something right now that a lot of people on CH2's uh, forums are really talking about right now. Meanwhile, we got uh, some more troops. We oh, we got a half track being deployed from his medical. American forces kind of helping mid, and it looks like Waifu did take some casualties. So unfortunately, Waifu, uh. You know, you're having issues. You need, you need to get more waifus. Not just one, you need all the waifus. A waifu army. Heck, just give a harem. Just go with me here. Where you have multiple uh, people show on up that advise for the main person's attention. Just saying. And that main person needs to be completely boring and 100% generic. It can't have a personality. We can't do that. High School XDXD is the exception. But, I mean, like... Except for him actually giving the, you know, personality to the fan service. That no other person in a harem, specifically the guy, can have personality. And all the girls, or this in case we're using here, female soldiers, all have to be blank stereotypes. Where you have the girl that's shy, girl that's dumb with big boobs, girl that's really smart, that is very awkward around the main person, smart, uh, strong girl. A uh, girl that's secret, that apparently is the main character's sister, but not, uh, you know, but you, even though he calls him sister, but they want to, they, they want to get down dirty. Again, you, you need to fill all the tropes. Oh, is there a cousin in there too? I think there's a cousin, and definitely a lolly. Anyway, speaking about, um, getting fucked, uh, yeah, that half-track just got annihilated from a good... Attack from multiple directions. Once again, Snappy, just being the unsung hero of this game so far. Just doing everything he can. Can we throw a satchel for 10 points? No, we can't because, unfortunately, even though that would destroy all the support equipment, the MG is currently suppressing him. Though the guards are giving him health, throws a grenade. Probably won't get too many kills. Yeah, just weaken them. But might be able to get the... Yeah, he is. He got the kill on it. Very nice. Meanwhile, uh, the, wow, Germans took over the entire north and using the Kubel to also take that territory. Meanwhile, south is currently being locked down. Uh, interesting place for Mortar Pit. Uh, maybe back up here. That way, again, you, it hits and it has hard, tr tr uh, hard trouble uh, taken out. Plus, you can guard all of this area instead of just like kind of like the back corner. I get why you're trying to be defensive, but the mortars themselves, a little bit hard. Uh, well, actually, no, they they hit all the main points. They got the star. I mean, I guess up here would probably be the big thing because I would probably kind of want to guard all of it. But you got the fuel. You got the center point. That's good enough. Um, the MGs, Royal Engineers, just on standby. Maybe some mines. We got machine gun. Any case, uh, unfortunately, while well, you have the island and actually giving the allies respect on fuel, hell, they're actually doing really well on fuel because actually a lot of cash is currently going down. The Germans are also putting caches, so long term, they're also trying to uh, plan that out. Oh, Sniper running back. Oh, no, Jagerlite Infantry trying to get that kill, but unfortunately, not today. Not today. Uh, we got Booby Trap territory going under. If you wonder what Booby Trap is, essentially, you set it down, they try to capture the point, and uh, boom, bada, bing, literally goes to their men. Nice uh, grenade, could see uh, squad out of cover. Allows the rifleman to push on in. Lipton, just, uh, you know... Ooh, hello. Very nice. Now, question. Are you trying to get more or less teabags in this game? I'm just saying, Lipton. I'm just wondering. 
for, are we talking about a high amount of tea bags or a low amount of tea bags? Because I really want to see your infantry do tea bags along on the Germans. That that would be interesting. Might be the good old Halo days. So you know. Any case, uh, weird defensive line going on right now. Um, I guess his idea is to kind of place that stuff down so the enemy can't just walk in and try to capture it. I mean, it is kind of working. He did just murder the rifleman who just tried to walk on in, so I don't know, maybe that's it. But, I mean, A, you can still use the cover here, so it's not getting rid of that. And, oh, okay. I'm just going to say this right now. Um, besides this, which I think is weird, I, well, again, we'll determine if it's good later. This is stupid. This is really stupid. You're asking yourself, Gray Shot, why is it stupid? Well, it's actually very simple. It's blocking the fucking road. <laughs> it's literally the jackass, while well, in traffic, that literally just, like, sees something on the side of the road, slows down, so everyone else behind him slows down. Even though there's no odd reason to. Like, he could just kept driving, but no, he has to slow down. He could have been like this guy. Put it here, actually have a good defensive point because of the high vantage point. AT guns and whatnot have a harder time hitting it, but this thing can actually hit everything below pretty damn well. Again, could have been like that. But no, has put on the road. So now armor is going to have to go around, hit the mortar, and go all, or like, maybe go this way. But I don't even think there's enough room for armor. Again, one of those weird things where it's like, really? That's where you choose? Big battle going on down south, but guards holding the line. Again, doing a fantastic job. Uh, let's see, we do have a sniper being deployed down south as well. Multiple NGs. So we have no forward assembly. I think that's where you should get next, kind of heal up his men down here. Uh, meanwhile, unfortunately, uh, we have Waifu pushing back on in. Doing okay. MG34 suppressing the lieutenant while the captain's just hanging up on here. It's still confusing to me that they switched the captain and the lieutenant's roles with the bar and bazooka. But it's okay, I guess. Try and hold the line, but yeah, it, STG44 is going to do pretty damn well. Panzer IV also deployed, and while he does have AT forces... Well, hold on. It depends. Panzer IV, are you going to shoot him or just keep dancing around him while he, while he slowly kills you? I was going to say, for a second there, I'm like, no, actually still... Th oh, nope, there we go. I was going to say, if he kept missing, the guard troops might have actually won. I know, it's surprise. Oh! Oh, no. More PTRS rifles. Uh, Panzer IV is like, what the hell did I get myself into? I need to get the hell out of here. This is uh, a... Very bad idea. But, in any case, it, it could be worse. It, it could be worse for the Panzer IV. He could have lost it uh, to the penal troop. Now, I mean, the guards, I mean, they yes, they have DPs or they can be or just normal RP, uh, AT rifles. But the big thing you have to worry about with, um, well, penals is, yeah, sure, they have PTRS rifles. But goddamn, they have satchels. And if you, if you would have kept that Panzer IV right on that satchel, I really wanted to see it blown up. But, in any case, uh, let's get back to the south, where actually a battle is commencing. We have infrared searchlight identifying key strategic weak points of guard's forces. So, most likely what's going to happen is this guy's going to slowly start picking at guard until he finds an area in which he can advance. And then finally take out guard. But, you know. Oh, we have a minefield going out here. We have, What the fuck is this? Are you just put... I really should send L like I really really should send John Wick this and just have it have a picture here for L for loss because I'm assuming that's what you're doing just giving the big L to it. Hey, if you could actually just finish this out, make a giant hand, and that be a middle finger, that would also be really funny. But this is just stupid because you're cutting off access for your own forces. Anyway, Cromwell pushing on in to help assist. We still have some guard troops down here. But the Cromwell is more than capable of pushing back the infantry. Because once again, there is a weakness for this thing. Armor. No anti-armor. Oh, no. So, yeah, Cromwell can do some work. But I'm assuming you have AT of some sort. Or you completely forget. You have no AT still. You It's 15 minutes in the game. Get AT. 15 minutes. Have some type form of AT. I mean, yes, Pods of Faust are great. But, I mean, like, actual AT. Meanwhile, a person we don't have to worry about with AT, uh, yeah, it's, Snappy is, uh, just, uh, it's, oh boy, 
He's he's gonna hunt down the T34. Uh, sorry, that Panzer IV. Now most times T34 uh, would lose to a Panzer IV, but in this scenario where it's an upgraded version with better armor and main gun, this Panzer IV is pretty much fucked. Say goodbye. So let's double check real quick. Um, yeah, board again. Also doesn't have a lot of AT now, and you have a bunch of flak emplacements, which is hilarious. But as we currently concurrently see here, this thing might get decrewed, which would be incredible. Actually, activate armor piercing rounds. No, we're not doing armor piercing. Okay. We're also not throwing a grenade. Okay, Lipton. Um. All right. I mean, it didn't do much, but I think armor piercing rounds would have been, you know, good against the armored emplacement. You know, wow, that one emplacement actually pushed back the entire rifle in front. I have to give you. Oh, I'm sorry, wa waifu. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I'm really am. Meanwhile, guard trying to push up from the south. Uh, the good news is the allies have all the victory points, while the Axis are winning the infantry game in mid. Uh, they're losing the armor game because, well, they both. No one has a really good armor. Um, I'm just, wait, hold on. One waifu might be saving up for a panther and deploying that shortly, I'm assuming. Either that or he would probably get a king, which I really don't think is a good idea. Flag emplacement, doing what it does best in at least doing a delaying tactic. Unfortunately, that delaying tactic gets a T-34, so it's more just trying to stay alive, which unfortunately it wasn't able to. Meanwhile, we have a Sherman now, so all the allies have armor. All the allies have an armored force to deal with them. What do the Germans have? Well, this guy finally got some AT, which is good. But you need more than, uh, you, you, you need more than just, uh, if, you know, infantry. In the, or at least infantry with just one Panzer Shrek. If that double bazooka or double Panzer Shrek, we're in business. Anyway. Cromwell's being deployed down south. Interesting strategy. I mean, so far I can see that. Again, use the speed maneuverability to encircle and outflank anything that attacks the island. So essentially, you make it a death zone for a large-scale assault by hitting it at multiple areas. Could work. Could very well work. We'll see if it does. Meanwhile, up north, we have um, Born Again capturing that location. Multiple Panthers being deployed. So I guess they went late. Armor. Which can work. Absolutely. And again, each of them is, I'm assuming, going a type of panther. Or this guy, this guy's going king. This guy's absolutely going king. He's got this. He has more than enough fuel. He's going king. The only counterpoint to this strategy is the fact that you didn't have armor in the mid-tier. I feel like, I mean, yes, I mean, you had the guy North Panzer IV, but that was really unsupported and poorly done. It would have really helped if you guys had some... A little bit more synchronization with that. And maybe the Panzer IV kind of helped more mid instead of just sending it off by itself. But, anyway. T-3045 kind of moving in. Uh, unfortunately, with the Panther there. This thing can go a couple rounds, but it's 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 not it's not Creed or Rocky. It's not it's not gonna last all it's not gonna last a good fight with a Panther. Katusha decides though, fuck it, I'm gonna charge. Anyway, uh, penal troops unfortunately about to die. They try to here to break it. Nice idea, but again, it's better just retreat it because the Panther could have easily gone after it. Does he have any AT? He doesn't. They do a priest though. Lipton's bringing down all the heavy fi uh, firepower upon this position and trying to at least break up the uh, the German dominance in the region. Which again, you can see here, it's pretty much in this central area where they have a lot of their mechanized buildings and a lot of their troops. Uh, far down south, I hear a king. Yep. And a panther. Yep. This might be the opportunity where the Cromwells need to encircle the king tiger to win this game. But we'll see if he manages to do that. Panther. Uh, trying to figure out, I guess, what to do. Um, I guess... I'm not entirely sure. Your main gun is on... Our, oh my... F are you serious? Not only is he... Laying down more stuff, but he's playing a pack 43 here. That's a risky maneuver. I mean, sure, I could see it if you also built, like, a flak emplacement to guard it, but I'm looking at your infantry. You don't exactly have a lot of defensive stuff. 
to guard it. I mean, you wasted a lot in those flak emplacements, which I'll, I'll admit some did well, some did not. Yeah, we have the 105, I want to say. Yep. Alter Barrage coming in. One of the crowd ones uh, bit it. Another AT gun bit it. Unfortunately, it looks like a pincer move from two different angles. Really just encircled French Guard troops and just tore them to shreds. Guards is now on the retreat. We, again, looks like the island is now theirs and they're pulling back to a more defensive spot. We did have a Sherman on standby, but if he goes in with the two Panthers and the King Tiger, it's just not going to go well. The Germans just have way too much. But again, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And if this guy, or actually any of them, lose their big heavy tanks, it's GG. So essentially, they just need to kill the two mini bosses and then the King Tiger, which in my opinion, is the big boss. I mean, we'll see how it goes. I think they can do it. Again, guards would not send me this replay unless he was trying to troll. Oh, this is probably a troll, isn't he? God damn it. It's probably what I get for calling him a hobo. My apologies. He's a freelance entrepreneur. He's uh, he he's free to, he's free as the wind. I, I I guess that's the correct terminology to use. I guess they don't like the hobo anymore. But in any case, we can see here guard troops on standby doing a damn good job. Or at least trying to pick them off. Doesn't really get to. Sniper again doing more recon than actually being aggressive. Not idea. Use snappies. Uh, get, use the recon to kind of identify key targets. Uh, but for bazooka fire and everything else is trying to snare that panther. We have rifle grenade also going out looks like. Might be able to. Yep there it goes. Damage engine. Now with Lipton going out, it's artillery, and then we also have the heavier troops. They have a nice wide range of uh, abilities, so that can really help them out. Panthers pulling back, good idea. Armor is pretty much out of mid, and that's a smart idea. Looks like they're using artillery to break up that pack 43, which once again, way too close to the front. Even for my standards, because it's way too close to the front on the open section of the map. So really, there's no... Okay, retreat that. There's really nothing stopping artillery. If this was like hidden in the trees or something, I could see it more because it's harder to pin down where exactly it is because you don't have uh, cover for it. So. Let's see, we have Pansworth opening fire. I'm assuming it's going to hit here. Oh, good shot. We have uh, Cromwell upgraded with a fully upgraded Firefly. Oh boy, they're gonna go for the king. Can they get it? Missiles launch! Oh, he doesn't have enough for me. Oh wait, did he fire the missiles? Did he already fire the missiles or did he just not show? Okay. Oh, big armored push. Mark targets also now available. They're trying to go for that king. King's blitzing, but the T-3045s just have too much speed and managed to outrun it and shoot it dead. Meanwhile, flanks going in. Try to finish off that Panther. T-34 is cut, closing off its escape route. British infantry making sure the, the enemy infantry is nowhere in sight. And the T-34 is going to try to finish it. Probably should have moved back to Cromwell. And we have some type of air strike coming in. Don't know what it is. Uh, 105. So we knew it was going to die. So I'm assuming he just didn't want it to be captured by chance. He didn't want to waste that. Okay. I mean, you lost to Cromwell, you killed the King and a Panther. That's a pretty good engagement, honestly. That's the kind of armor gameplay I'm looking for. Any case, with the down, the South is pretty much open for the taking. And the Allies will do so, allowing them more fuel. Because right now they're down by uh, close to half, I would say. In any case, uh, again, could be a lot worse. At least they still have middle fuel, so they're at least still getting the income. And look, he got his back as pack 43. Isn't that great, guys? Uh, yeah, he's probably there repaired, so it's probably going to die in a single shot. But hey, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, he got it. Yay! Meanwhile, we got these guys on standby. Uh, Panther trying to get a couple shots on them. Managing to get them. Serum Pinder's coming in. Should finish off the Sherman if he can get the hits. Oh, damage engine. Up oh, there it goes. Could have captured it, but alas, 
Just didn't do it. Especially... Oh, well. Oh, captured the AT gun, though. Anyway, uh, it looks like the headquarters buildings have been taking some damage. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could definitely see why. Um, they kind of... Well, how do I put this nicely? Um, it's in a position where there's not much blocking artillery fire. I mean, this blocks from, uh, like, AT guns and stuff like in the south, but not necessarily artillery. This one's just wide open, like, presenting itself. Uh, Pack 43, though, hitting the T-3045s up here. Looks like it managed to get a shot off on those units. Or, I think it did. Uh, unfortunately, though, it, they definitely pulled them back, and the infantry assault kind of backfired up north. We can currently see infantry guarding the, uh, sorry, capturing these points. Definitely need to capture this because right now the allies are hemorrhaging uh, points. And they really, really do need that back. At least I would say so. Uh, okay, maybe not hemorrhaging per se. But again, they're definitely losing points. Is artillery coming down? Do we have actually enemy artillery fire? No, we don't. I guess it's Zering Artillery, I assume. Yeah, he deployed Zering Artillery, which is fine, but you need Recon in the sector for it to be really effective, and he just didn't have that. Which is why the artillery came down so piecemeal, because it was waiting for the enemy to open fire in the first place to actually get a hit. So, nice. Anyway, grenade going up, hitting the Sturms. Nice hit, and both squads have to retreat. Overall, resource... I'm um, sorry, capture... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Population size, There, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, it's actually pretty damn close. I would give a slight edge to the Germans, but, I mean, it's so goddamn close that it, it's pretty much anyone's game. Like, for example, we look at the amount of territory on the map, you would absolutely give it to the Allies, which are now dominating in the munitions department. Not in the fuel department, though. Not in the fuel, which is actually a little surprising in my eyes. Just a little bit. But, hey. Um, again, they have more caches dedicated to the fuel, so they can do a lot better. And also, the, a lot of the territory they captured um, were munition points, why, why they're doing so well, while the Germans keep going for this point over here. Again, trying to go real straight down the mid, which is fine, but you also need to capture the flanks. Otherwise, the enemy will keep encircling your men, and that, of course, will do more damage to you, and it just doesn't help out, I guess. So... In any case, oh, I hear something. That would be a King Tiger. Oh, boy. Anyway, the King is advancing. Managing to pop a shot around that Jackson. Um, does he not realize that the other King died from overextension? So maybe this King's like, hey, I'll do a lot better. And to be fair, it's just wipe that squad. Uh, meanwhile, while the King is busy, you know, advancing, the T-3485s, are busy once again taking out a wounded unit which again very smart move on their part for picking off guys just here and there and not just sending the t-34s in balls deep which i see a lot of times hey guys we have all this armor that we spent so much time with let's run it down the barrel of the gun hopefully it doesn't shoot and of course it doesn't just shoot once it fires its whole load and then you're, you're yeah it's, it's destroyed but again Nice job. Are they capturing this point? I think you should capture this point. Just saying. Meanwhile, yeah. So, Snapple's becoming a beast up north and just really difficult to deal with. Good for him, though. Good for him. At least he's helping hold the munitions and the fuel. Two very vital things you need for these games. But, uh, Guards is doing what he can. He's using the MG to try to stop the enemy from capturing that point. Now, if we go back here, we could see that... Oh, wait. There's a building. What happened to it? Yeah, we can see our artillery. Someone blew it up because they were tired. So tired of units spawning behind them. So I'm assuming... Or maybe they identified that... Oh, there is going to be something spawning. So they killed it. Either way, nice job. Now, unfortunately, not that great is a giant AT line. And you have stuff that is good against both infantry and armor. So... Yeah, that's... You know, that... that that's going to definitely have some issues. So... In any case, uh, we got some British infantry moving on in. We're engineers. Uh, th they'll do okay. Uh, especially, unfortunately, with the fire grenade. Probably going to be pushed back. But, uh, again, not not too shabby. Our point. They're trying to take it. Oh, boy. We have, uh, once again, 
Born again, trying very desperately to capture this star, but I mean, if the T-34s want it, they can easily just turn back and annihilate all this stuff. So, that's probably the one thing is, unfortunately, because all the troops have been upgraded with PTR's rifles. Um, Ace points this out quite a bit. It, it, it essentially um, makes it extremely difficult for them to fight infantry. And because of that, usually they don't do so well. But unfortunately, because Born Again is sending in piecemeal, his forces aren't doing that great. Did you really send the king in by itself again? Oh my god. I feel like we've seen this stance before. The Germans have have this amazing strategy of let's send in our best unit single file. That and just by itself. I'm, it's gonna work out great. So uh so really stupid. So freaking stupid. Man, that pack 43 didn't live? No. Oh, man, I thought that artillery would have it could have, I mean, I mean, I thought I could have survived it, but I mean, I, 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 I guess, I, I guess not. I, I, I guess not. But in any case, um, we have Volk squads moving on in. Lieutenant just barely hanging in there. Volk squads dodged the grenade. Oh boy, pack 43 is up. Um, Axis did retake the south, and the Arts retaken the north, so good for them. At least stopping the allies from taking their points down. But once again, it's just like, okay, what's the, what's the German strategy here? If they can just stop sacrificing their armor, I think they would win this game. I think they honestly would. But if you keep saying in your King Tigers about infantry armor support, yeah, things aren't going to go well. It might get a kill or two, but don't expect it to, like, turn the tide or anything along those lines. That's just not going to happen. But, you know. Who who am I to say? A person that's been doing Castle 2H2 for years now. Who, who am I to say or judge on that fact? Anyway, T-34s just rolling on in and just saying, <laughs> wow, poor... Poor squad. I, look, I you had a chance. Unfortunately, the T-34 has just pulled the rug underneath you. And uh, turns out the rug was guarding a pit of spikes. So you just got impaled. Oh, boy. It was br brutal. Very brutal. Now, we can see here he's bringing... Uh, we can see the centaur moving up. So I'm assuming French Guards is going to go in tandem with the, the T-34s. And most likely do a large-scale assault. If I was him... Maybe launch an assault to come up this way and knock out these headquarters buildings. I know you don't have recon per se through abilities directly, like through the doctrines. But remember, the American player could still do recon. Um, you know, if he wasn't losing a bunch of infantry constantly. But, you know, if, if he didn't, he, he would be doing good. Anyway, rifle grenade would also be great. He throws a normal grenade, though. A snare is what you need. There we go. Snare it. And there we go, damage engine. Now the Jackson can just keep hitting it over and over and over and over again. And hopefully knock it out. There is a lot of AT forces along with the Pack 43 But looks like the Jackson was able to do what it does best and crack some armor. Meanwhile, we have a tank up north, a Panther. Once again, just roaming free. What could possibly go wrong with that scenario? French Guards launching a large assault down south. And managing to do a decent job. Looks like he might not be able to knock out those support guns. Which would be a big deal by knocking out the artillery that's been hammering him for quite some time. Both of them have been knocked out. Now if he can kill the uh, half-track, he would knock out their their, their recon. Their eyes, in the, their eyes and ears in the south. Anyway, the panther uh, deciding to charge. Hold on. Uh, the Jackson. Uh, might be able to kill the Katusha if it's a uh, target turn in time. Probably should have kept... Oh, nope. Nope. God, these T-34s. How many armored kills have you gotten? Seven infantry. I swear it has to be a lot. Three... Okay, three vehicle and four. So they've gotten five vehicle kills total. That's not too shabby, right? That's pretty freaking good. For a bunch of T-34, 85s, these guys are like the, the literally the pack. They're just going out hunting armor that's just lost its way. Um, and to be fair, they are definitely impacting the Germans. The German army is being reduced. 
really none of the major germans have their original armor out from the beginning of the game none of them have lasted more than a few minutes even when they looked intimidating with all that armor they deployed earlier that those t30 45s just very good tactics have just encircled and knocked them out once they push into allied territory so i'll have to give him credit where credit's due yes you could say he's blobbing or he's doing that and poor katusha oh man but again what i would say at least is is he's at least knowing when to engage and knowing when to push because I see so many times where people just charge head on and it's like <sighs> it yeah it just doesn't I'm just thinking of it like all the times I've seen units die from charging again I've seen four easy eights charge the King Tiger and the King Tiger while properly supported killed all of them without I think losing half its health so again in scenarios with multiple armored units if the end if the single unit is done correctly it can still beat it but I, I have no I have no confidence in the Germans. The only thing I have confidence in is their infantry, which actually surprisingly has been decent this game. Um, at least in the gameplay department, it should push again. They have been losing a lot of it, as we can see with now them gaining a lot of veterancy. But hey, it's okay. Snappy, still uh, down a few troops. Um, that being said, he's down more infantry, but he's gained more armor. He's at pop cap, so you can't really complain. Lipton uh, has been slightly teabagged on. Unfortunately... He's been doing okay. He's lost a lot of his combat armor. Uh, now he just has artillery support. And that's fine. The problem is if they bum rush mid to take out the artillery, he's kind of screwed. So he he needs to rely on someone else. At French Guards, he's lost quite a bit, but he's still doing okay. Looks like they're trying to knock out that squad. So... Looks like he's still holding on decently well. Huh. French guards, again, retook the south. It's been gone back and forth. Usually you just see one player take it and then, like, kind of half-heartedly guard it. But no, both sides have been actively trying to take south. The Germans have... Almost definitely taken mid, and I would not absol I would not say it's this because they've been pushing up here most of the time, so that's been com a complete non-factor. But you know, uh, we'll see uh, how long it takes for the Germans to. I'm assuming. Okay, I I'm, I'm putting out a, a again. I'm just I I I've seen a lot. Look, I'm using foresight here of what's gonna happen. All right. Uh, if what Ace would say, I'm using my hindsight to hindsight to anticipate the enemy's movements. Uh, definitely an Ace quote. Definitely. Any case, um, the T3045s. I'm assuming are going to come in on a massive flank and just start knocking out a bunch of stuff. King Tiger and Panther. Look, they're actually helping each other uh, with one unit supporting. Missiles, unfortunately, just miss underneath. T34 coming in to stop the advance of at least the Panther. Well, the Firefly needs to do some fire support. Looks like we have a nice shot on the Panther. That'll do some damage. We have a uh, Time on Target coming in to knock out the MG. Mark Target is coming in on the King Tiger, making it more susceptible. I think the T-3485s know this and are preparing to counter and push on in. While also, But they are providing some covering fire with the Priest, trying to keep that sucker alive. Not too shabby. Axis trying to take this star because, well, they kind of need it at this point. T-34 knocked out that squad. Ambulance coming on in at the worst possible moment. Uh, yeah. Stern Pioneer's coming in. Well, I'm sorry. A Stern Pioneer with a Volk squad coming in. So, yeah. You definitely want to keep the ambulance back. But allies uh, across the board have been falling back. And axes across the board are gaining ground. So, they're doing something, right? Anyway, multiple grenades coming in on the MG. Centaur, though, helping clean shop with a half-track reinforcing. Panther coming in. A T-Gun needs to change its positioning. Firefly needs to deploy along with those T-34s and maybe go in for a nice circle mode. We look at armor, and yes, you still have the king up here, but I still think that the Soviet player can take it out because uh, Mark Target is 20 seconds away. So I'm assuming by the time he deploys them again, he can activate Mark Target and allow the, the allies to crack that German armor just a little bit easier. So, but hey, that's, that, that's me. We'll see how things go.
King Tiger realized, all right, I'm going to stay back this time. I'll do a couple shots. And meanwhile, here comes all the armor. Artillery's coming in to help dislodge that unit. Again, Axe is still taking all the north. I'll give him credit. But that being said, it's because the T-34s are all down south. And he's pretty much given up on his infantry gameplay at this point. So, Panther, though, coming in to support T-34. A little bit shocked. Guard troops could button if they want to and stop that Panther in its tracks. But I guess they decide to keep pushing. Uh, yeah, it's King Tiger. Again, managing to knock that out. Tries to do a blitz on the Panther, but gets neutralized before he can hit target and pin it. Mark Target has been deployed on that unit, so the uh, T-34 is coming in. This is a bad fight because of the fact, again, they can't really flank him, and he's being well supported. I know, amazing! Anyway, uh, because of that, the infantry is still able to fight the T-34s off, while the... Oh, maybe a Panzerfaust. Nope, they retreat. Good idea. The Centaur would have murdered you if you would have saved for a Panzerfaust. But, speaking of stuff retreating, Panther managed to retreat, and another Panther is now on the front. Uh, we got this other Panther, and the King Tiger has been... Uh, has pulled back to his base, or at least his, uh, you know, that base over there to heal. Um, infantry squad is on standby, uh, but unfortunately, uh, there's some riflemen there making sure they don't grab that point. Uh, right now, guard needs to push on and grab it. Again, he has a nice wide range. He has another firefly deployed, and if that, it, again, it, if that panther keeps deciding to push on in and gets a firefly, okay, he's screwed. If both the, okay, move up your other firefly guard. Okay, he is. I was gonna say. If, if they can get another salvo in together, they, it's it's dead. It, it's absolutely gone. So. Any case, uh, we see here that... Yeah, this panther has no idea. It's about to get rickety, rickety wrecked. Uh, double firefly? Yeah, it's going to do enough damage to slowly break that thing in half. It's some... Oh, yep. I'm assuming a satchel or something below the Panzer headquarters. Something along those lines. Or maybe a, just a priest fire. For maybe priest fire. Again, either way, it, it was enough damage to blow it up. So good job. Bright Chamber Street grabbing that point. Panther and King Tiger had to pull on back. I like how he built this minefield here. I know he has an advance, but at least stop the tree from pushing. The problem is, uh, I think French Guards realizes he doesn't want to advance that much. So... You know, at, you know, at least good for him to uh, keep holding on to that point. So. And not trying to overextend, at least for the time being. Pans were for opening fire. Assuming this area. Oh, man. Was I right or was I right? Oh, Firefly took some hits from it. Uh, Firefly needs to pull on back before it starts dying. AT gun on standby. Real engineers need to sacrifice one of those guys to go... Again, because they can throw grenades to go stop those panthers and stuff from charging. Uh, T-34s need to advance, but they're on the other side of the map, so I don't know if they did it on purpose. But it was a good time to advance, because again, the armor support they usually relies on is now gone. AT gun, though, doing a lot of damage to that King Tiger. Actually managing to push it back pretty damn hard. But again, as we see them doing actually decently well... And actually, you know, pushing back French Guard. French Guard still holds on to the key territory. Sure, he doesn't have armor support right now, as they all need to heal. But he still has his armor. If he still has his armor, then I'm going to assume that he's going to hold on pretty damn well. So, at least that's what I, th again, it, it, I think. Again, he has some troops down here, but I'm assuming he's just going to roll on up. With his infantry and armor once he gets healed and just take it right back. So, it's not really a stunning victory. It's just like a slow grind to push French guards back. And he's probably just going to fall back behind the river and then take it right back. Meanwhile, once again, we have a panther charging. Uh, that being said, it did, for what it looks like, it did just crap on Lipton's parade. So, I mean, I have to give it credit what credit's due. That being said, it literally walked into a double firefly. So, maybe not the greatest idea. Also... All of the T-34s and are rolling on in, so we need to get the hell out of there. Pack 43 on standby, T-34-85 misses. Panthers, if they can... Oh, so close. And Pack 43 finishes off. It's a very nice shot. Alright, right now the T-34s are pulling back. If I was him, I might... I, I would probably get an engineer squad... Why? Well, that's simple. Put down some additional caches. Maybe some mines to stop the armors from charging on in. You can surround it once it's deep in your territory. So, you know, stuff stuff like that. Stuff like that. But. Well, 
Wow, they... Okay, never mind. Guards got pushed back pretty damn far. Lost a lot of infantry and armor, respectively. And down south, it's just completely fallen. Although, again, it's from this guy moving down south um, with Stiloza. So, again, Stiloza and um, Bojorns working together, ignoring the north, and just decide, you know, we're going to push south. This is where it's going to fuck him, though. Because he's trying to kill the Sherman. Not bad idea, but you're so deep in enemy territory that you can't even see the fact that they just snared you. And the Fireflies just annihilate all your troops. Once again, just be... Oh my god, yes. Just let him get the Panther. If you, if you let the Allies get the Panther, you have officially lost this game. Oh, please. Oh, please. Just let him have the Panther. Let the Allies have the Panther. I want them to have the Panther. Can I just say I want them to have a free Panther? Is that okay? Anyway, it looks like they did artillery on the wrong sector. Panther's still alive. And, uh, yeah. The, the American player's like, cool. You try to hurt my Sherman and he kills my units from earlier. That's great. I'm gonna take a goddamn Panther and just ruin your day with it. At, you know, at, 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 at least, you know. That's what I, I, I think when I see this. But in any case, Panther's pulling back. Al uh, again, Axis, though, trying to push on in. They've completely lost the South now. So, that, I get Guard just couldn't take a double team. But that being said, it's not like he's down. His ally just got a little bit stronger, unintentionally so. And uh, the T-34 army is still there. And it's still been kicking ass. So, all they need is a good combined effort, and they got this. Meanwhile, these Panthers think, I guess, they're tough shit. And decide to push on in where, once again, these Panthers, if they use Mark Target, could overwhelm these others. I'm sorry, T-34s could overwhelm the Panthers. It's just, it's one of those scenarios where it's just like, oh, wow, you did not place mines. Okay, that's one issue I'll give you, Snappy. Uh, you didn't place mines. You could have ensnared so much of that armor. But that being said, just let your infantry stop them, I guess. Up here come the T-34s. Up, it, taking on this one as well from the rear. Oh, completely encasing them. This is the moment. We have a giant armor battle up north. Four T-3045 versus three Panthers. And, you know, some guard troops helping out. Oh, this is great. Oh, we lost one T-34. We lost one Panther. Oh, second Panther's pretty much screwed at this point. No main gun. This other Panther knocked out another T-34. But... I'm assuming by the vet 3 and everything else. Come on. He's oh, waiting. Missed the shot. I'm trying to go in. Something's going on over here. Oh, no. The king is dead. Allies coming back hard. Germans fuck up. Nice shot. I think, yeah, the firefly. Or the panther. Hold on. Did the panther kill it? I swear to God the panther killed it. Nope, the firefly did. Good job with the firefly sniping that panther. Oh, Stuka's down. Pack 43 is wrongly positioned in the wrong direction. So, uh, yeah, it's not, it could have annihilated these uh, fireflies, but alas, it did not. In any case, T-34 is pulling on back. Once again, these are the 85 variants, which is why they are doing so well against Panthers. Uh, the Allied Panther is uh, helping capture this point, and the Germans have officially, I think, run out of armor. Sure, he, sure, he has one Panther still alive and kicking, but... Okay, they just deployed a new Panther. Literally, it's fresh off the presses. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it the the Stilozo is saving up for a king. But the Allies, very smartly, has been able to salvage their armor and build up, and just in one fell swoop, knock the Germans from their their pedestal of victory off into like pretty much off the ground, and and I would say probably for the win. I mean, that, that's just my eyes on this because I just don't think they have the firepower to deal with it. Anyway, T-34 trying to capture North. Having some issues. <laughs> T-34s are on standby. And again, they are healing. So, and supported by guard troops. So, can we get some uh, buttons? No, we don't have enough munitions. Let me put some... Ca oh, wait. Right. They pushed on in. My apologies. Anyway, uh, doesn't have enough for a marked target. Hell, he's actually uh, kind of focusing more on infantry now. The swarm north. 
but now he's pushing up his uh, T-34s in an effort to kill the Panther. Panther doing a smart maneuver, trying to make sure it's positioning his front armor so he's alive, but he's cornered himself. And, you know what uh, still can penetrate that stuff actually decently well? Guards troops. Guards troops can then move in, fire some pop shots, keep him in the corner until these guys heal, and, you know, they have issues. Panther being pushed back by, well, I don't know, the Crocodile, the Centaur, and, oh, more importantly, the Panther on the Allied side. Good snare by the American Infantry, keeping that thing pinned. Another King here to save the day, but, uh, yeah, a little late on that. Panther, I guess, with Stormtroops, which deployed from the building. I mean, good for him. You got some Stormtroops, and... You know, the, the, they'll support you, sort of. They have no AT capabilities. But, hey, at least you got it. Right, guys? Right? Any case, uh, yeah, the armor's healing. And that Panther can't fight these two things. Or even three combined. So, we're definitely going to see a lot of issues here. King having some issues. Uh, not necessarily from this British Infantry Squad. But everything behind it that is lying in wait. No, Panzer for getting a nice shot. Actually hurting the Royal Engineer Squads. Which, oh, Stuka coming in as well. Hurting a lot of the armor. Victory points dropping pretty damn quick for the allies. Allies need to capture the northern points in order to win this. Axe is still uh, ticking down on the allies, so pretty damn good job. Anyway, multiple forces coming on in. Using explosive rounds on the infantry while the Panther and the other T-3045 move in. Try to neutralize it. Now, he could be backing up thinking he's all that tough, but this T-3485 is giving him no uh, respectable shit. Wow, is he fire straight through that? Wow, that's really annoying. He's firing straight through that terrain. But hey, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I really have nothing else to say. It's fine. Um, yeah, that thing died. So, uh, yeah, that happened. Anyway, uh, that panther's dead. Um, King Tiger's still on standby. This stuff is, you know, had to delay... De deployment because of the artillery strike which was actually pretty respectable it knocked out the engineers and stopped him from doing a full repair so these guys are still you know kind of back we have more artillery now being fired i'm assuming they're trying to get some of the squads or actually hurt some of the armor they actually did a little bit of damage panther trying to get a couple shots off being very risky especially with all the allied armor that's down there we have stormtroopers being deployed up north in a attempt to hold on to this point or cause issues again they've already been detected so it's not going to work but i give him credit smoke going down hey i'll get dropped smoke oh i'm gonna die let's get the hell out of here any case we have captain being deployed again trying to capture the southern point but you do have a bunker down here along with another mg again so he's not gonna be able to capture it Allies also having issues because their church and everything is being pushed back and they still need healed so that again taking a little while to get that stuff healed into the front the allies need to capture this point they absolutely do and again unfortunately right now from what we're seeing um snappy just doesn't have the armor like he did and to be fair he is getting an s 85 to help snipe armor from afar but damn his t 3485 has been doing work this entire game so Hopefully, maybe a good flank over here, because he's always been kind of mobile. Oh my god, please annihilate that thing. Just send your T-34 to go kill it, please. It's not, That Panzer is not going to hit anything, is it? Okay, hit like one unit. Congratulations. Anyway, down south, we have a good flanking maneuver going in with the American forces. Dropping some smoke, getting past the MG, and... Wait, did they kill a Stuka? They may have killed another Stuka with a Bazooka team. Very nice. No, you absolutely did. Very cool. Multiple, uh, they have a Vickers machine gun, I guess, stolen from guards. Very cool. Just holding on. Meanwhile, they have both guys here, along with, again, another player down south. Because they know if they hold on to that point, it's GG. It's a win. It, they, again, no need to contest. But, if we look at the allies, I'm assuming, no, they actually don't have enough for a strike or a marked target. Not even close. I mean, okay, time of target's close. Maybe they can do a uh, Firefly, like, double rocket hit. Looks like we have zeroing artillery coming down. Maybe. No, 105. My apologies. Double Firefly used double rockets to doubly screw that King Tiger. Meanwhile, once again, with his amazing T-3485, 
1934 gameplay just fucking annihilates that panther. He didn't even have time to react. The panther's like, no, you will not escape. And of course, he's gonna probably use the repair ability to get that sucker back up to full health. And that way he can just move it because it is so very close to being uh, back to operational capacity after being that hit that, yeah, it's it's currently, it's weapons down and it's engines down, but it's not gonna take that much to bring it up. Just need to make sure it stops being shot at for a moment, but hey, other than that, it's doing fine. Panther being deployed. Uh, again, Allied Panther. The Sherman did die over here, unfortunately, from the, oh my god, the, the six pounder, but hey, Allied forces capturing this point. We have a frag bomb coming in. Oh boy, coming in from the wrong direction, allowing, I was gonna say, the allies enough time to identify that and be like, hey, there's a frag bomb coming in, you may wanna dodge, and behold, he dodged. Meanwhile, there's a giant blob of infantry going north, if I ever saw one. Panther just cleaning house and just clearing everything down here. So right now, I'm assuming the uh, American player, Lipton, is doing one final effort to take the southern point. Again, try to make sure to capture this point, because again, nine points remaining, and we look up north, there's a lot of infantry up here. Yeah, he's sure he can hold it, and a couple of them have bazooka teams, but I don't know how long you can necessarily hold that blob off with just one tank, especially when they have AT weaponry. Good time on target. Um, does it get, causes a bit of damage, but it's not enough to kill the infantry that's capturing the point. Though, he might know he doesn't walk out. Meanwhile, this American player is going to quickly decap it. If this guy just walks in, he should be relatively fine and GG this game for the Germans. Or he'll pr or walk into a grenade and, yep, lose a bunch of health. And then you just end up dying because you can't stay yeah, in fight. And because he stayed in fight rather than, you know, coming back later, which he has still has plenty of time to, uh, we can see here he has barely any infantry left and it's not going well. Blob is moving on in, which is kind of stupid in my eyes because again it's so fucking close to dying you can lose all, all those squads like super quickly meanwhile the south has been secured though the blob is coming in but that currently lacks any additional support to guard your other key territory which if you guys see here this t-34 i'm assuming he's just gonna rush up and decap it with his tank that's what i would do at least let's see if he does it meanwhile churchill going in i would guard this point with your life yeah, Axis Force is pushing on in. It's very difficult. Oh, finally you said Allied Panther. Oh, damn. Oh, very, very smart move. Using that unit to keep it decapped. But with all those troops moving in, he's not going to be able to hold it. And yeah, it's very close. Very, very close. But Allied Forces will decap the point, hopefully, and get back to and get back for them. Uh, hopefully making sure they don't lose this game because they are damn close. They they cannot risk a point falling into enemy hands. Anyway, Churchill deciding to barbecue some Royal Engineers that just came out of this building. Uh, probably a waste of manpower. Yep, he, that man's on... That, yep, that man's on fire and dead. Good job. Meanwhile, Allied forces just hanging out in the north. All they need to do is guard the victory point for probably like... Oh, I don't know, a minute. Uh, two tops. Um, and, uh, but although I haven't decided if it's going to be a normal minute or a freeze a minute. So, again, we'll, we'll figure it out. And don't even get me started on a freeze of five minutes. It's like one, two, seven out, no, five hours. So, again, you know, take, take a bit of time. So, Crocodile, once again, stopping the Royal Engineers coming around. That guy's wasting his precious manpower. There's nothing down here stopping a decap, by the way. So one troop down here could all absolutely stop that from decapping. Uh, King Tiger coming on the flank. Firefly, though, going to push it back. Wow, this was a good game. Holy crap. Anyway, steps usually devolves anyway into a close game. So good to see. Now, I can't wait for these Volk squads to get barbecued. Who wants German barbecue? Because boy, oh boy, we have different types. Anyway, uh, with the south, with the north uh, firmly secured, and this point being decapped but not decrewed, allies will still keep this game going on the, in their favor. Infantry moving on in, but I think we have the 105 coming down this sector. Might be able to kill that engineer squad, but that'll be about it. Uh, Stern Pioneer squad, Fed 5 moving in. Please don't waste it. 
I have a feeling you're about to... Okay. Suga Bomb's coming in. Trying to do a lot of damage to the infantry. Kubel now has been deployed. Uh, interesting strategy. We also have the Royal Engineers or... No, Stormtroopers up north trying to decap. Not a bad idea, but you lost the unit before you can even capture it. And right now, once again, the Germans are doing the tactic of just send one unit in to decap and all we need to do is win. Yeah, no, no, stop it. Tactic never works. Uh, okay, very rarely it works. Um, and that's only for like a last ditch effort. Like, otherwise, it's better to just build up your men, wait, and attack them when you can. Don't just, uh, ha, yep, I was going to say don't send your men in piecemeal, otherwise they will die. I feel like that's the, that's the title for this. Don't send your stuff in piecemeal. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, the blob is back in town, trying a one last ditch effort to take this point. Anyway, uh, they probably could actually hold off if they had armor to, you know, push back that Churchill. If only. Um, they may have enough for a Panzerfaust to knock it out, but the game is over. And unfortunately for the Germans, they fucked it up. They could have had it. They honestly could if, you know, they were, uh, if they could have held it just enough. But unfortunately, they did not. They did not. So, unfortunately for them, they lost this game. Again, Piecemeal, guys. Don't do it. Unless you, unless it's like one point and you can securely f capture it, that's fine. But most other scenarios, don't. I will also give credit. I'm assuming these Fireflies have been here for quite some time, judging by the kills as well. Eight vehicle kills. Holy shit. Pan Good job, Fireflies. Just picking off those Panthers and Kings and everything else that came in. And that poor, poor Kubel. That poor Kubel. Oh, my God. But in any case, uh, yeah. Even after this clusterfuck, it's still... Pretty intense. I love the artillery shell currently flying through the air. That's pretty cool. But yeah, most damage is one waifu on the German side with most da uh, kills going to him and also born again. French guards getting most damage, but most kills going to Lipton. Very surprised on that, actually, because the amount of losses you took Lipton, to be completely fair. But let's double check what actually did that, and it was your rifleman. Okay, that makes sense. You had a ton of riflemen being deployed. A lot of losses, though. A lot of losses. And same thing for the Germans. Holy crap, you guys lost a lot. Um, but yeah, uh, honestly, sending units out one by one and depleting your manpower by sending out units from these like buildings, which literally just wasted your manpower, uh, that, that's what killed you guys. That's honestly what did. You guys could have probably won this game if it wasn't for that. But in any case, guys, that's game. Thank you once again, uh, French Guards, for being this, a.k.a. the original, uh, one of the original CUH2 uh, commentators. Uh... Call of Duty man, thank you very much. Bye in case, this has been Grey Shots 117 here, and I'll see you all next time. Hello everyone, before I go, I want to give a special shout out to the Patreon supporters, Ace, Delta, Joey, JP Val, Junior Checklist, Malam, Ollie, Only Play Apples, Pyro Shark, Rifle, Sarge McPain, Streaking Wookie, White Hot D, Aaron Yee, Jordan Savat, Leo Lu, Nathan Angus, and Tim. Thank you all for your amazing support. You guys are incredible. This has been Grayshot17, and I'll see you all next time.